Hey, welcome back. This is a, another video from the Server Basics 2016 video series. This video, we're going to be joining a Windows 10 machine to a new domain that we set up on Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 4. All right, so a lot of people get hung up at this spot. I can't join my client to the domain, and I'll show you why. And I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate it first, kind of like how people are having the problem, and then we'll fix it. And it's going to be really quick. All right. So back here on the machine here we got, I can show you I got a Windows 10 machine and a server 2016 machine. So uh, Windows 10 machine, let's go ahead and open that. And just right away, right off the bat, let's go ahead and try joining to domain. Let's see what happens without doing any other work. I'm just gonna click down there and type domain. It says rename your PC or join domain, hit enter. Join a domain. I'm gonna click or type in test domain. That's the name of my domain. Hit next. And it bombed out. It couldn't be found. This is one of the biggest issues I've seen on the other videos. And so what we want to do first, let's make sure that we could ping the server from this machine. So let's let's bring up the command prompt real quick. CMD. IP config. Let's look at what our IP is. It's a 169 number. Obviously, that's not gonna work. And the reason it's a 169 number is because I need to switch the virtual box networking in here. But but my main point is always try to Always make sure you can ping the server first by the IP. And of course, we're not gonna be able to do it here because we have a 169 number. So before we get too much further, let's go into VirtualBox. And if we look at the server settings here for the network, remember I switched it to NAT network, if you've been following along. And um, this one is not on the NAT network, it's just on the default NAT. So I'm gonna switch that to NAT network, hit OK. Let's go back to our client machine. Let's renew this IP, IP config slash renew. This is gonna take just a minute. Oh, there we go. Now we got the proper IP. So let's see if we can ping the server by IP first. Ping um, 10.0.2.10. Yep, we're getting replies so we can communicate to that machine. But now the other important part is, can you ping it by host name? That will tell us it's resolving DNS entries. Ping AD server. Yep, you can see it resolved AD server .testament internal to that. So we should be able to join this thing to the domain now. So we're gonna hit down here, type in um, domain. I'm not sure I like this Cortana thing. All right, rename or join. Oh, and we do need to rename this PC. So I'm not gonna rename it at the moment. And yeah, let's just join the domain. Let's make sure we can get joined. Test domain. You don't have to do the dot internal, just test domain. There we go. It's asking for credentials for the domain. So it's going to be my domain admin credentials, I think. Uh, did I set up that? Let's make sure. It is trying to join this client to the domain. And there we go. And it's asking, who's going to be the person using this PC? Uh, I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to hit skip and restart. Now we should be able to go to our server, go to tools after using your computers, and in the computers OU, we now have the client. Of course, that's a nasty looking name. We'll rename that, that's no problem. And we will later on show you how to change the default OU that your newly joined computers gets dropped into. For now, we're just gonna leave it in computers. So let's go back here, let's log in. Now it's still logging in as a local user. So let's switch user and do test. Oh, and it says at the bottom here, sign in to test domain. So I'm gonna use my test domain credentials. I have a C Davis account in Active Directory. It may take a minute for this to log in just because it's gotta set the profile up, build some folder structure and uh, do some registry stuff. But we can go ahead and move this now. Let's move it to IT. Uh, sysadmin and a computer. So I'm gonna drop it in the computers OU, if I can drag and drop properly, and just say yes, confirming I wanna do that. All right, so now the computer's in the right spot. Once this is done building our profile, I'm just gonna rename it to something better. Uh, just remember, when you are joining a client to a domain, make sure that the DNS entry on the client is the server's IP address. At least that's for our test environments here. There's different scenarios out there in the real world, but for testing here, just make sure when you go to CMD and you type uh, ipconfig slash all, that the DNS server is the server's IP. And then at that point, this client should be able to resolve those DNS entries. Um, all right guys, talk to you at the next video.